Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I'm a graphic designer based in Melbourne and today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys absolutely everything that you need to know about line work in Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is pretty much a software where you create shapes, you color them in, and you create some pretty cool shit based around that idea. These shapes are obviously all made with lines or otherwise known as strokes. There's multiple ways to create a stroke in Adobe Illustrator. The most common way is by using the pen tool. The pen tool is just up here. You can click P on your keyboard to use it. You basically just click areas. There you go. Now you've got a shape. Each time I click, I'm actually creating what's called an anchor point. Anchor points connect strokes from one another. So that's my pen tool. This one over here is called your curvature tool. And this actually bends the shapes based on where you're clicking your anchor points. So if you want to be creating some nice curved lines and you want to make it kind of clean, this is your tool here. You've got your pencil tool as well over here, which is N on the keyboard. And this one, actually you can like draw like a pencil and this will automatically place your anchor points wherever the computer thinks necessary. You can actually go into the settings if you double click it and actually change what's called the fidelity of the pencil tool. So you can make it accurate, you can make it smooth and many other things. So play around with that. The only other tool that I think is important is the brush tool, which you can click B on the keyboard. And it does a very similar thing to the pencil tool where you can just draw and then it'll actually create at the anchor points and you can change, you can get different brushes up here as you can see and you can download some off the internet too. To move objects, obviously you're using your selection tool and to select individual things, you're using your direct selection tool, which is the white arrow. If I wanna just move one anchor point, I can click on that and move one anchor point or if I wanna move a whole stroke or line, as you can see, I'll click on that singular line with my direct selection tool and I can bend that wibbly wobbly. You can increase the stroke size by just selecting the stroke and increasing the point up here. And you can actually use what's called your variable width tool to create interesting curves and ways in which the stroke actually forms. As you can see, this one makes it go from thin to thick to thin. This one goes from thin to thick to thin to thick to thin. <laughs> and this one makes it go from a flat point all the way down to a singular anchor point. This is really helpful to use when you're trying to create depth and perspective, which I explained in my last video. If you're looking to get into line art and that kind of stuff, I would highly suggest using your stroke panel up here. You can find that by going windows stroke and that'll uh, pop this up. This allows you to edit things like the corners and the caps of specific strokes. As you can see here, if I want to round the edges, I'll click on that one. If I want the cap to finish after the anchor point, I'll click on this one. If I have corners like this and I want the corners to be rounded or flat I can play around with this if I want a dashed line I can click this checkbox and I can actually change how close the dashes are I can also even add arrowheads as you can see that's a fat arrowhead <laughs> so I would highly suggest using this when you're working with strokes so what if you make a stroke and you want it to split into two this is how I like to do it so you've got an anchor point what I like to do is actually just place two anchor points on either side use my direct selection tool which is a on the keyboard and delete one anchor point now I've got two lines there you go this will definitely come in handy if you're trying to adjust your artwork or change a few things the only other thing that I think is really important when it comes to strokes is actually expanding your strokes and turning them into a shape how do you do that you select your stroke come over to the object panel and click expand and okay now my stroke has turned into a shape so as you can see as I select this it's become a full shape I can select anchor points and actually individually drag them out this comes in handy when you're actually converting your strokes to now a shape and you actually want it to be a solid object how do I use this well for example if I wanted to now come well that's probably not a good shape that's going in a bad direction <laughs> Um, oh, we'll just run with it. Actually, no, we won't run with it. <laughs> Let's just do this. Now I can combine these two shapes using my Pathfinder, which I'll make a separate video on another day. And now I've combined two shapes. There you go. It's now one shape. I can alter things like the corners like this. And you can start creating some pretty cool things. But keep in mind, only expand your strokes at the very end or when you're finished working with your line work because there's no way to convert your objects back to a stroke. The only other tip that I would give you guys in regards to line work would be, what if I have a point like this and it's actually too thin on this side, but I want it to actually be at its thickest point around here, not all the way back here. What I would do is break up the stroke like this, like I taught you before, two anchor points on either side and delete it. I would then make this just your normal stroke and now you can see if I combine these two it's almost there and this is where expanding your objects comes in handy I now expand the stroke and I'll select one individual anchor point 
and make sure I zoom in and I'll just connect it to this one, just like that, seamless. Now, if I actually expand both of them and combine them using my Pathfinder, that's how you make it go from thick all the way through to the point that you want and then go down to a thin point. I was doing this a lot on my most recent artwork and I found that it actually came in quite Handy. Mastering line work and understanding strokes in Adobe Illustrator is extremely important as it is the core fundamentals of what drives the software and ultimately your artwork. So I would highly encourage you guys to play around, start outlining some stuff and really understand it because once you do, you'll be able to create some clean and concise designs moving on in the, in the future. I hope I've taught you something today in this, in this video. It was a quick one, but it's also very, very important. And I know a lot of you will gain some value from it. If you haven't checked me out already on Instagram, come over. I'm quite active there and post a lot of my artworks on it. If you want to shoot me a DM, just have a chat. I reply to everybody. And if you haven't already, I'm running a competition at the moment where you can win an A1 print of this specific design. Feel free to jump on board, challenge yourself. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Enjoy your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.